What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shine and Pearl. Like I said in the last BDSP video, your boy is getting some new Pokemon to showcase some new teams in BDSP. And in today's video, we are rocking out with Gallade. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it only takes two seconds of your guys' time to support me as a content creator. And I really appreciate and want to give a huge shout out to all my subscribers. Seriously, it really does go a long way. But like I said, we're rocking out with Gallade. And this game is just so much fun to use. I absolutely adore using different Pokemon in the BDSP ladder. Just gives a nice change of pace from Sword and Shield. Considering Sword and Shield's been out for about like two years now so it's kind of just been the same repetitive stuff especially because series 12 has been the longest series and i believe it is the last series so we've just been constantly rolling through series 12 up until the new game pokemon scarlet and pokemon Violet comes out but we're rocking with Gallade here let's get started with today's team preview with the focus saturator really good pokemon really strong psychic and fighting and we are rocking out with the steadfast ability so every time it gets flinches or faked out it will actually uh What's it called? It will actually get a speed boost. One thing that was messed up with this Pokemon when someone traded it to me is its nature, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. It is a calm nature, which does lower its attack, but still, it should still be able to hit like an absolute truck considering its EVs are fully invested into attack and into speed. Moveset for this Pokemon is a really powerful moveset. We got Close Combat, Psycho Cut, both for heavy stab hitting moves. We got Sword Stance set up, giving you a plus two attack boost, and we got Protect for our fourth and final move. Really do like this Pokemon. Cannot wait to hop into that uh, Coliseum and rip with them. Second Pokemon on the squad is going to be this lovely Togekiss over here. And this Togekiss is basically just support. It's got the follow me, protect move set with Yawn and Air Slash. We're rocking Serene Grace instead of, uh, what is it called? Instead of Super Luck to, you know, to, you know, get more flinches with our Air Slashes. And that item we are holding is going to be that I Pop a Berry to give us more HP when we fall below. I believe it's like one fourth HP. So really good Pokemon. Really great on the support side. It's going to allow our Kali to set up Sword Dance and roll out the battle from there. Third Pokemon on squad is Gyarados. I feel like I've been using Gyarados on every single team, but I absolutely love using this Pokemon. It's just like big win condition for any team. It's got Life Orb as item. It's Rock and Intimidate. And then we got Waterfall, Crunch, Dragon Dance, and Protect for a, a fairly normal moveset for any Gyarados. Fourth Pokemon on squad is my boy Crobat over here. We got Tailwind for Speed Control, Cross Poison, and Brave Bird Brother for Stab. And then we also have Taunt to Taunt opposing support mods. Really do like this Pokemon due to its Speed Control, how hard it can hit. Plus, it learns Taunt on top of that. I feel like it's covering a bunch of different areas on for this team. Ability for this Pokemon is going to be Inner Focus, which works so well. And then its EVs is like fully attack with some defense, special defense, and HP. Make it a little bit more bulkier, and it hits like a truck. Item for this guy is going to be a Figgy Berry. Works just like that. I pop a berry on that Togekiss. Fifth Pokemon on squad. Is it fifth? I believe it's fifth. Fifth Pokemon on squad is Breed. One of my favorite Pokemon of all time. I really do like him. And this one's holding a Toxic Orb due to its ability, Poison Heal. Absolutely love it. Works just like Gliscor, but it's, uh, I guess it... I want to say it's a little less bulkier than Glasgow because I made that Glasgow super, super bulky, but Brimum is less bulkier but can still hit like an absolute truck and get rolling with the battle due to its moveset right here. We got Sport, we got Drain Punch, we got Seed Bomb, and we got Substitute. So if I can set up Substitute with Poison Heals, come on, yo, we can Spore left and right and just run the battle like that. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be this Infernape over here. And Infernape is super good because I wanted a fake out user on the team. Plus, I wanted a fire Pokemon. So he fit both of the uh, little attributes I was looking for. We got fake out, close combat, Flutter Blitz, and U turn. We're also rocking the Blaze ability. And then, last but not least, the item we're holding is that extra belt to make super effective moves, do a bit more damage. But, guys, there's the team preview. Let's get rolling with this Glade team in the Coliseum. Look to get some wins. First battle coming at you guys. We are going up against a really cool team. He's got a Scizor, Tyranitar, Garchomp combo, and then he also has the Infernape, Clefable for Sport, and Storm Drain Gastron, which he might bring in here due to me having Gyarados. But I feel like Intimidate is an absolute must, so I have to bring Gyarados, and I wish I was rocking my Ice Fang Gyarados. I'm kind of upset I'm not. I don't, right? Yeah, dude, I have the Crunch one. God dang it. God dang it. I wish I had my Ice Fang one, but I'm still going to roll in with Gyarados, but I don't think I should lead him. Actually, I could definitely lead him. He's not too bad here. I think I'm going to lead Infernape. Really pose a threat on a couple of these different Pokemon. And then I could go Glade. Glade ain't too shabby here. I don't really mind a Glade. Maybe Swords Dance here after a fake out. Could definitely be our option. So I'm going to go Glade. I'm going to bring Gyarados in the back end. And then last but not least, do I go Togekiss? I don't really think Togekiss could be too hot. I could go Breloom here. With that Mach Punch. I do like Breloom. I do like Breloom with that Mach Punch. So, you know, I'm going to lock in Breloom. And we're going to get Ribbon with the squad. I'm digging it. Full hyper offensive. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. Let's roll out here. Let's look at grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. This team's looking 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 pretty tough. This team's looking pretty tough. He's gonna end up going into scissor, which is totally fine by me, and Clefable. So he might go for a follow me here. He might just drop a big old follow me. He might uh Hmm, what else could he do here? I could fake out the fable. 
Would fake out come out beforehand? Would fake out come out beforehand? Because I would love to do this and then maybe just like source dance up. The speech should be mine. Right? Speech should be mine. And I do have focus ash. But then he does have bullet punch. What should I do? I mean, wouldn't fake out slide here. I might just go into that and sword dance up. It's gonna be my play. That is gonna be my play. I'm gonna fake out the scissor here. Maybe he'll go into a follow me here. Let's see what he does. Go for follow me. Oh, we love it. We love it. So that's a free sword dance for us. So we get a free sword dance set up. Um, I hope Galade's a bit faster than Infernape, but I'm gonna have to check this out. But we have sword dance set up alongside with the focus dash, which is enormous. Which is just enormous. That is huge. I would love to start dropping some close combats. So we get the flinch. Show me Galade's a bit faster than Infernape. Let me see your speeds, boys. 132 and no, not even close. Not even close. Um, okay. So my play here could be U-turn pivot if I want to. I could definitely U-turn pivot, but I could just go for a flare blitz. Hmm, what do I want to do here? Obviously, I want to go for a flare blitz, and I might just go for a psycho cut at this point. Just so I don't drop my defense. But this should KO this thing, right? If he goes for a follow me, I think psycho cut should be able to do enough damage, plus for sword stance on top of that. Let's just roll into that. Because I do think he's going to follow me, right? Yeah, and go into like an X scissor and pop my sash. Let's see how this one plays out here. Yeah, I'm going to flare blitz up. I'm going to send it. It's going to get follow me over to that slot. And Psycho Cut should go next and take that out, right? All day. They see it later. Psycho Cut coming in hot. Take him out, please. Wow. That did nothing. That did absolutely no damage. Is Psycho Cut special attacking? Is Psycho Cut special attacking? I could swore it's physical attacking. Why did that do no damage? I'm definitely confused. Is this special? It's fit. Why did it do like no damage? I am so confused. <laughs> I am so confused. Why did that do absolutely no damage? Alright, we'll go for close combat this turn. Actually, I might just protect up and try to U-turn out. Wow, that did like zero damage. Absolutely no damage. I'm gonna protect my glade. Protecting my glade. Follow me soon. Come out here. I do think that the uh, glade or the scissor goes after my glade here. Which he does. Cool. Bull punch block. And we can U-turn it out, which is really, really good. I can U-turn into my Garrus if I wanted to. That did no damage. I'm still like astonished from that. Is that due to my ability? Or well, not my ability, my nature? That could be awful. But I could set up a sub here. Sub would not be bad. And I can start Sporn. Do I want to go for Intimidate or do I want to start Sporn? What do I want to do here? I'm trying to think. I'm thinking Breedlum would be a call here. Breedlum outspeeds, right? Breedlum should be able to outspeed Scissor. Yeah, we can set up a free sub and get the Tox Heal rolling. Exactly what I'm going to do. But I think he's, he's going to go after Glade at this point, right? I think he's going to start uh, trying to poke after Glade. So I can start setting up my Poison Heal. Breedlum. But yeah, we're just gonna go for sub here. And I'm just gonna uh probably go for close combat. Now oh, he's gonna go into mm. He's gonna go into follow me, so I'm just gonna go for psychic cuts. Wow, yo, psychic cut. Land a crit here. He's gonna land a crit. You land crits more easily. We do we still have sash? I think we still have sash, which is great. Which is really, really good. So if I can set up this sub, we could be sitting pretty. We could be sitting pretty. Because then I'm gonna just start putting Pokemon to sleep left and right, kinda rolling the battle from there. This is a great battle. You know, that's called Fables doing me dirty. I wish I had a steel type Pokemon. That's why I want to bring Scissor on this team. But the only problem with Scissor is like I, I can use him in any single team. Right? I can really roll out with him in any, with any single team. But let's see how this one plays. Let's see how this one plays out. You're probably I think he's just gonna stick to follow me and kinda roll out from there. I don't know what's wrong. Okay, so we're dropping a psycho cut in that slot, which is solid. Let's see what he goes into. Isn't it Gastrodon? It's a little it's a little weird. I'm gonna bullet punch into oh my breloom. And we live on one. That is the luckiest thing I ever seen. That is just the luckiest thing I ever seen. Because we don't have focus ash. We do not have a focus ash, which is hilarious. We do not have focus ash. Poison heal coming out here. That's totally fine. I could protect him. But I'm just gonna go for spore. Again, actually I could go for speed bomb. Dang dude. A spore. He's gonna bullet punch into me. Well, he might predict and protect. I'm gonna do that, and I'm just gonna go into close combat. I'm gonna try to get get some damage off on the scissor. 
Felt like he's gonna protect. Kinda saw that coming from a mile away, so good thing we doubled down on that Pokemon. And he going after his real question. He's gonna bullet punch into Breedloom, take out my Breedloom. That's why I did wish I had protect. But wow, he really bullet punched that first time in my Breedloom. I totally thought he was going after my Glade. But we got off a nice close combat. Let's see if we can pick up KO here. Yeah, there, that's the damage I was looking for. That was the damage I was looking for this whole time. So <laughs> close combat comes in here. That's a ridiculous amount of damage, which is amazing. And we take out him, no problem. That's the damage I was looking for on that, uh, with a psychic cut. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm sword stance up. I still have my focus hatch, which is gorgeous. And I wonder who he's going to roll into from here. We could go Infernape for the fake out, which could be really, really good. So I'm thinking about doing. All right, do I roll on that and save my Gyarados? I don't want to, I don't want to bring Gyarados just yet. Considering he has Sluggy out there. I want to get rid of that Slug. So I might just close combat into this slot now. But he's going to end up going into this thing. I'm just going to fake out the, uh... The Fable here, and I'm just going to roll into a close combat right into the Slug. That's my plan. That's my plan. Good call by us to pop into the Infernape. Lovely Infernape. Lovely. God dang Breloom, yo. If he would have just if he would just bull punched in my Glade, we could have been set up. Because I would have had that that substitute up. I could have spored next turn. I could have went into a Seed Bomb. I probably would have went into a Seed Bomb at that point, right? That probably would have been a play. I would have just Seed Bomb the, uh, the Gastrodon here and just kept close combating. Rolling around, but fake outs can come out here, chip up some damage, flinch them. Close combat's gonna drop the slug. Yeah, yo, we, we're on a tear now. We, we're, we're buzzing now. We silver focus, Ash, your defense is down, but yo, I'm with it all day long, yo. Close combats from Glade are popping. They're popping right now. They are popping. He's gonna have to show his final Pokemon. We make that thing flinch, and yo, if her name's coming up clutch, that like, you turn out for another flinch turn is huge. It's so big. He's gonna go into his final Pokemon, and it's gonna be his Infernape. His Infernape's gonna come in hot here. And at this point, you know what? I'm just gonna flare blitz right into, right into you. And I'm just gonna protect. I could get steadfast, but I want my focus ash more importantly. You know, I totally rather have my uh, focus ash with that Pokemon because I do have Gyarados in the back end. We should be able to clean up this battle pretty well. So I, I really want that focus ash more than anything. Because obviously he has a fake out turn, right? So if he fakes out my Glade, I get a speed boost to do our ability, and he ends up faking out my Infernape. But that's totally fine. That's totally fine. I'm gonna go for a Moonblast and we block it anyway. So that's, that's, uh, I'll take that turn all day. I still have my Focus Ash. That's exactly what I wanted. I wanted my Focus Ash. I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna go for a Psycho Cut into the slot. Let's get this battle done. Let's get this battle done. Even though Infernape probably outspeeds. Right? He outspeeds my Glade. I'm still fine with that because we have that Focus Ash that I wanted this whole time. But that was the damage I was looking for with Glade. Was the close combat. Like, that's why when I Psycho Cut it and did like no damage to the Fable, I was like, yo, what's going on here? I was like, I know that nature doesn't affect it that much. But he ends up uh, protecting. That's huge. We'll take that turn all day. We'll take that turn all day because my punch coming in hot. We eat that up. In front of him, going to flare, but let's get blocked. But Psycho Cut should be able to pick up the KO unless he's Focus Sash. Unless he's Sash, which is definitely a possibility. And he's not. GG's. G to the G's, yo. Glade coming in here and just sweeping the battle. Dude. He's just sweeping the battle. The only problem he had is this Clefable right here. And we still have Sash, so I'm just going to flare, but it's out. And then I'm going to pop a close combat. I'm going to say screw it. We're going straight for Cancel the battle. I hit my Infernape. I hit my Infernape <laughs> on accident. <laughs> I misclicked. Kill this thing. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord, yo. I misclicked onto my Infernape, and I was going to kill it. <laughs> I was going to kill it with a Glade close combat. We put it on 9 HP to the recoil, and that's the battle. Let's get rolling here in our second battle. We ended up having a rematch with the opponent because our first battle was so good, and I would love to run it back with him. But how should I go into this one? How should I play? I feel like we're going to get a little bit of Breloom love in here. So I'm going to lead the Breloom. I kind of want to lead the Infernape too, if not bring it in the back end. But I might just lead it just to allow me to set up my, uh, my what's it called? What is that even called? My substitute because I really want it. I do really want to get that substitute set up. But my only problem is if he goes with that same lead because that same lead's real tough for us. It honestly is. It's a really tough lead for us. He can do a lot of damage on me. I might just want to go in my Gyarados and go from there. That wouldn't be bad because we can pose a threat on both sides. We can definitely pose a threat on both sides. So I'm going to go in with them too. I'm going to bring Infernape in the back end and then I'm leaning towards Crobat kind of. I could actually lead the Crobat instead. Maybe try to get off a Tailwind, get some more speed on our side. But I feel like speed we're fine with, you know? Especially up against these guys. Yeah, let's go Breloom. Let's go Gyarados for that uh for that lovely turn one intimidate. We'll bring Infernape in the back end. And then I'm gonna bring a little bit of support. I'm gonna go with Tokus instead of Acrobat. Right? I'm leaning towards that. We just pose a threat to the Garchomp. Even though we don't have any fairy moves, we pose a threat to the Garchomp because Garchomp can't hit us with EQ or Dragon moves. I'm with it. Let's run it. Let's see who we ends up leading. Not the same lead. 
Heal some with these two. Okay, so very similar lead. Um, Breloom Gyarados can come out here. Um, I could protect a Breloom, or I could hard swap my Breloom. I could definitely hard swap my Breloom, which I might have to do here. Actually, I could go for a Spore. Spore might be our play. Spore into a Waterfall. I'm with it. I'm gonna Spore you. And I'm gonna go into Waterfall in this slot. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen, because I think he's gonna fake out one of my Pokemon. Let's see what he fakes out. I'm gonna fake out my Gyarados, and Spore should come out before the Clefable moves, right? That's a huge turn for us. So, I'm able to do that. I could hard swap at this point now and keep my Breloom. That's just a solid turn for us. But I feel like we should just uh, let one of my Pokemon go down here for the cost of his. Right? What's your speed, Gyarados? What is your speed? 136. Mm. 136 is your speed. Uh, I'm going to go for a sub here. I'm going to go for the sub alongside with the Waterfall. That's my play. I could Dragon Dance here, thinking he's going to swap or protect, but I think we're fine. I think we are fine. If he goes into a Flare Blitz, takes on my Breloom, that's totally fine. We take out his Infernape, and then we have a Sleeping Fable on the right slot. But then if he doesn't take out my Fable, uh, that's beautiful. There it is. I was going to say, if he doesn't take out my Breloom, then we get up off a sub. He's going to swap into Garchomp here. Garchomp's, Garchomp's going to take a little bit of damage, but more importantly, yo, we set up this Substitute with Toxic. So this is a solid, solid turn for us. A really good turn for us. A really beautiful turn for us. Cause look at this, yo, sub coming out here, and then we get that HP back. Woo! Jeans is on a roll. Jeans is on a roll. He came to play today. He came to play. The poison heal out and about. Uh, what do we start doing? We start dragon dancing. We could definitely start dragon dancing. We go into drain punch. We could seed bomb. Let's start chipping up damage here. Hmm. I'm gonna go into this. I'm gonna seed bomb that slot, and I could take out you, but I'm gonna dragon dance. Do I protect to protect? What's he gonna do? Drop a rock, maybe? And you know what? I'm just gonna pose a threat and take take you out with this waterfall. You just drop a rock side. The rock side's gonna chip up some damage. As long as we're not flinched, I think we should be fine here. That's definitely gonna take off sub. Oh, it doesn't take off sub. That's beautiful. Waterfall comes in hot. We get rid of Garchomp, which is just beautiful. It's just beautiful. And we still have sub, which I think he's gonna moonblast into. Right? Are you moonblasting into my substitute? Are you moon blasting into my substitute because I'm dropping some seeds on you. Seed bomb, baby. Chipping up some nice damage. Love you, Breloom. Love me some sub poison heal Breloom. And he's still asleep. That's huge. That's huge. So I'm thinking of just putting uh putting whatever Pokemon comes out here to sleep and maybe protecting my Gyarados if it is faster than my Gyarados. But we're sitting in such a beautiful spot, yo. This is what I want to do with last battle with Breloom. It's just a beautiful play for us. It really is. We love it. That's a lovely little play. Spore coming out in the beginning. And then the sub suit. He's going to throw out his next Pokemon, which is going to be Scissor here. So Scissor's going to fly out here. Probably just go for the Bull Punch. And at this point, he's going to sleep. I'm not dealing with him. Not dealing with Scissor. He's going to sleep. He's going to sleep. We're going to protect our Gary to Gyarados. And we're going to roll out here in battle number two. There's a Bull Punch. Beautiful call by Jeans. We end up blocking it. And we're going to say, hey, yo, Scissor. Did you take your Melatonin? Did you take your NyQuil? Time to take a nap, yo. Go to sleep, baby. <laughs> <laughs> we put him to sleep. Clefable is definitely going to wake up here. And I think he's just going to take off my sub. It's definitely a possibility. Right? With Moonblast. Yeah, he's going to go Moonblast. Then take off my subby. Bye-bye, subby. And, uh, we should be fine here. I think we should be fine. Because I can set up another sub. Which might have to be my play. Might have to be my play. I could put it to sleep and just be a chotch. But instead, I'm going to do that. <laughs> I could totally just put to sleep. I'm gonna actually start chipping up on this uh, scissor because he poses a threat more so than anything. So that's gonna be my play. He didn't bring a storm drain gash on when he needed it. I feel like he needed it this time. Obviously, like, like I said, if this was like a tournament or something, I would definitely put the Clefable to sleep. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be that annoying guy who's just sleep, 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 sleep. We're gonna try to have some fun with this. I'm gonna set up a sub, even though I think he's just gonna go for moon blast and knock it off. But I'll do that multiple turns. I don't care. We get a bunch of HP back. We get a bunch of HP back. Let's see what he ends up doing. He's gonna protect. That's fine. We're setting up a sub. <laughs> He's probably so upset. He's probably so upset that we're setting up a sub, not going for a sport. He's probably so upset. He's done, yo. He's so upset. He's not having it. <laughs> He's not having it. Because, yo, the best part is we set up a sub, and then we have poison heal, and the HP just gets rolling back here. He's slumped. So He's gonna go for a bull punch here. We're just gonna poison heal up. And now we could spore if we want to, but again, I'm not going to be Chachi. Could Drain Punch, but I'm just going to Seed Bomb here. Actually, I should double down into the Scissor, just in case the Scissor uh, ends up waking up and Bull Punching. Right? 
I think I should just drain punch it to him. Double down in Skizzy here. Double down into Schism. But yeah, our opponent's giving us a great battle here. Great two battles. The first battle was really, really close. The beginning was really slow because both of us were trying to like figure stuff out. I ended up taking upper hand and rolling out from there. But yeah, this battle, this battle was definitely our opponent's just giving us some good battles. But he's gonna end up uh still being asleep, so waterfall should get the KO pretty easily here. Drain punch is gonna slide over, do a little bit of damage onto that fable, but we're sitting in like the the best the best spot we could possibly be sitting at. A sub reloom, ready to roll. Drain punch is gonna fly. Chipping up a little bit of damage and we're back at full HP. Yo, dude, I'm telling you, yo, Toxic Heal Breloom is insanely strong. Breloom, I like if it was in Sword and Shield, I think it would be I don't know if it would be broken into the Animax format, but this Pokemon is insanely strong in regular format. Like BDSP. He's gonna end up calm mine. That's totally fine. We have a uh, physical attackers out on the field. I think we could just double down at this. Uh, actually, I could just put you to sleep if I wanted to. I can do whatever I want. I have Breloom fully set up. Fully set up. <laughs> like, yo, we're going to rip. We we're ripping. He's going to throw out the Infernape. He's probably going to fake me out. I could just protect this turn. And just spore this good Fable. I don't feel like dealing with it. We know the fake out's coming in hot. We know the fake out's coming in hot. You're not going to fake out my sub. It does fake out my sub. Does that flinch me? It doesn't flinch me. Cool. <laughs> So he did make the protect read. Now we're putting him to sleep. Now we're gonna get rolling here. Night Night Clefable. Not dealing with you and your moon blast. Not dealing with it. Okay, so from here, uh ch -ch -ch. Ba -ba -bum. uh what do I do? He's just gonna take me out with Infernape. I'm just gonna chip up some damage onto Infernape here. And if I can, I'll try to get off a waterfall here. I think our opponent's just gonna cancel battle here, right? He's he's, he's probably had enough, right? <laughs> if I was him, I'd be like, yo, I'm done, I'm out of here. See you later. Hit that run button all day. He goes for a mock punch. That's gonna take me out. That's totally fine. That's totally fine because Clefable's gonna be asleep this turn. Drain Punch is gonna probably bring you down close to half. Maybe still in the green, right? Let's see. Oh, a little bit more than half. We love it. We love it, yo. <laughs> so good. He's so good. Hopefully, it's Clefable sleep another turn. Beautiful. That pretty much solidifies the match, right? We do have Infernape in the back end, which I can bring out. What should I bring out Infernape? I can bring out Togi. Togi's not too shabby. I do like me some Togi. Let's get Togi out here. We used Infernape all last battle. Even though, again, if it was like a tournament or something, I would bring out Infernape, get that fake out rolling. We're looking to have some fun here. We're looking to play play and have some fun. So from here, I'm just going to rip into a uh, Seed Bomb, drop it into the Fable slot, and then just go into an Air Slash. Air Slash says GG's, right? Air Slash says GG's to that Infernape. Stands no chance. He's going to end up going for a Flamethrower. Taking off my sub? How dare you? How dare you take off my sub? How dare you take off my sub? The disrespect. The disrespect. If Fable wakes up, my, my Breedloom's dead. But Breedloom already did plenty enough. Here he did plenty enough. Air Slash comes in hot. I'm gonna say bye bye to Infernape. And yeah, it's over with. My Tokus can solo this Cliff Fable all day. Even if we didn't have Infernape in the back end. Breedloom's gonna be able to get off a Seed Bomb before he goes out. Because I do think this Fable wakes up here and drops a Moon Blast, right? Oh, he has a Berry. What Berry are you rocking? I Papa? Citrus? What Berry are you ripping with? That's my question. Citrus. You waking up? It does wake up. Its eyes open up. And he's going to go for the Moon Blast. It's all that coming from my way. Like I already told you guys. Bye-bye, Breloom. Thanks for hanging out. The Breloom did absolute work. Obviously, I could have kept my Breloom alive by either going into Infernape. Or I could have just played a slow game and just followed me out. That could have been the play. But now I can legit just win this battle super easily. Infernape's going to roll out here. Tokus going to be on the side. It's over. This guy stands no chance. Like I said, Tokus could solo this, uh, this Fable if you wanted to. You can go air slash fake out. Can you cancel the battle? Just so I don't have to wait here? He's going to protect, aren't you? Come on, man. You really think you're winning this battle? You really think you're winning this battle? Just run it. Just run it. Just run it. Because both my Pokemon out outspeed you. I shouldn't even went into a fake out. I should just went into a close combat or like a Flare Blitz and an air slash. Which I'm going to do this turn. So Flare Blitz is going to fly. Yoy. Air slash is going to fly. Yoy. And that's GG's. Now you're going to cancel battle? You stand no chance. I think Flare Blitz should just be able to pick up the KO by itself. Flareblitz comes in from the Infernape, brings it down to one, but Togus should outspeed the Fable and wrap it up, right? Get it, Togi. Get it. Togus comes in with the Air Slash. That's GG's 2-0 in today's video. Let's hop to a third and final battle, find a different opponent, and grab ourselves a perfect record.
Battle number three coming at you guys. We found a different opponent who's rocking an amazing team. I was going to actually get a Sceptile for today's video, but I ended up choosing Glade. So pretty cool we're going up against a Sceptile team here. He also has Cloyster, Snorlax, Togekiss, Gengar, and Kingdra. Kingdra without the Swift Swim. I definitely want to probably go into Crobat. He's like the only Pokemon I haven't used yet. I'm going to bring Glade here because I really do like Glade. And then Gyarados could be nice alongside with our final Pokemon, which I'm leaning towards Infernape. Infernape has just been phenomenal in today's video. Really, really good. Or should I go Tokus? Tokus isn't bad here either. Tokus can get some work done. Out bulk a few shots. We just gotta watch out for that Gengar. See the Tokus or Inferno. What does Jeans want to go into here? Who does Jeans want to roll out? Hmm. I'm gonna go into Inferno. I just like Inferno here. I just have a few moves I can just absolutely rip into a lot of these opponents, especially that Stormlax. So I'm digging it. I'm digging it. We're gonna lock it in. We're gonna lock it down. But yo. I've been jamming to a song in between like in between like battles and stuff. I usually listen to music on like my other monitor and everything. But I've been jamming to this new song, Might Find Love by Hero the Band and Trippy Red. If you guys haven't checked out that song yet, definitely get after it. So it's a jam. But if you have checked it out, let me know in the comment section down below of how much of a jam it is. <laughs> but uh, he ends up leading to Cloyster alongside with Tokus. And I'm really cool with this. I could obviously set up this crossboy or just go into crossboys near, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. And I'm just going to do I sword stance here or do I close combat? I think we just pick up this huge, easy double kill, right? Let's see what he does. Crossboy's gonna fly here. This might be an easy battle for us. We do not pick up the KO with that. Did we get a crit? We did not. That's a little rough. And he's just gonna gleam out. And if Let's Go can outspeed, we could be thriving here. If Clay can outspeed him, we could be thriving here. Yep, close combat coming hot. Bang, big old damage. Brings us down the red. So that's a solid turn. We know we have a speed against these guys, which is huge. And it's cool you're gonna pick up KO. Is he going for Icicle Crash? Or Icicle Spear? Yeah, he's gonna take out my, my Crobat, aren't you? Go back did get some work done though. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. Can he stop at that? Or no, he's probably uh what is that ability? I totally forget that ability. But yo, berry popping. We might be able to survive. If we can survive, this turn could be enormous. We should eat up two more. How much damage is doing? No, we're dead. God dang it. <laughs> What's his ability again? I forget. It's something to make those uh those moves do all five turns. Which is ridiculous. Which is absolutely ridiculous. But I can go into uh Infernape at this point. Pretty much locked down this these two right here. This battle might be quick. This battle might be quick. But yeah, I can fake out the Tokus if it doesn't. Or the yeah, I gotta fake out the Tokus. But I know Glade out speeds. I know Glade out speeds. So I can go into a second cut here and just kinda roll into that. I know my Glade out speeds the closer. So fake out's gonna poke here. We're gonna say Yai. Chip up some damage. And then Glade should go next. Take out the closer with Psycho Cut. Beautiful. Beautiful. So this battle's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. But it's gonna be a quicker battle, as you guys can tell. We're just attacking. We're getting straight after it. We are getting straight after it. But we're already 2 0. We already grabbed ourselves a winning record. So I don't mind losing this battle, but I'm still gonna look for the win for you guys. He's gonna end up going into Gengar. Ah, Gengar's a little scary. Gengar's definitely a little scary. I do wanna go for a U turn, but I don't know if U turn would kill. Do we think U turn could kill? I think it has a chance of killing. I'll go for a second. Second cut. Even though Gleam's gonna come in hot and do me real dirty. KO, KO. Oh man, I really want that KO. I should have just took him out with a Flare Blitz. Probably should have been my play. Probably should have been my play. I'm gonna go into Gyarados here. I just want my fake out again. It's really what I want. That is really what I want. Intimidation come out here on two special attackers. That might have been my that might have just lost me the game there. Not taking out the Sokus, because now we can gleam freely, right? Shadow Ball's coming in hot. And then my Gyarados Gleam's gonna come in afterwards. That's 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 scary. That's scary. That takes out Glade. Will that take out Gyarados? Gyarados eats, so... There's a chance here. We should have just taken out that Togekiss. I tried going with, like, a... With, like, a good play. I tried, I tried taking him out with U-Turn, thinking that we had a chance with that. I should have just went with a simple play, because Togekiss would have been dead. Gar or Infernape would have ate up. I mean, he could have been able to eat that up. I wouldn't be close, but I'm just going to fake out you. Just get that first turn priority. Try to take out the Togekiss with the fake out. More from there, even though he might be protected. But if we can land this crunch, that could be a big time crunch. Is that a big time rush? Big time crunch. <laughs> if Renaf's gonna use fake out, he's not gonna uh, protect Tokus or swap it. The Tokus goes out. That's fine. Can Garrus go next? This was Shadow Ball. Go into Inferno. He does not. We're gonna end up losing this battle. Dang, dude, we could have won this battle so easily. That one's all me, guys. That one's all me. Oh my god, we could have been thriving with this battle. We could have been. Thriving with this battle because I could have had Gyarados at full HP and just rolled out with uh with crunches. And he had Snorlax as his final. Oh my god, this this battle could have been GG's over with.
Uh, I'm gonna go for, go for Flare Blitz. I feel like Gengar is the one that poses the threat. So, I do outspeed, which is gorgeous. We are gonna take some mean recoil damage, but we gotta do that. And, oh, wait, we pick up okay, KO. Hold up. And in front of Yo, you see how fast that bar went down? Look, you know. We have a chance here. We have a chance. Oh, he has high horsepower. Can we eat that? Probably not, right? And yeah, no shot. Never mind. Things rocking high horsepower. <laughs> I thought we were going to get off one turn and maybe have a chance to just give it, get a close combat off on that, but guess not. What a set of battles for BDSP doubles. This might have been my favorite team I used in a long time for BDSP. I absolutely love this team. Everything about it. Glade was absolutely amazing. We got to show him off to his fullest potential. We also got that Toxic Heal Breloom out there dominating battle number two. And then you got the other Pokemon like Infernape who absolutely showcased today. He was on a tear faking out, doing big damage left and right. You got to love it. But more importantly, we grab ourselves that winning record and go two and one. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.